Okay, this is almost done uh, installing. Uh, so far, so good. Nothing crashed. No hiccup. <clears throat> no hiccups. <laughs> Nothing crashed. No hiccups or anything like that. So, anyway, I'm still waiting for my phone call. But uh, this is almost done. So let me just pause and I will continue. Okay, I took a little break. I'm back, of course, and this is the Ubuntu 10.10 .10 default desktop. Again, the wallpaper, you can take it or leave it. Uh, again, I'm not sure what the perfect desktop wallpaper is supposed to be. I'm just pretty sure that it, it is not this. Okay, well, let's see if there are any major changes here versus the previous version, which was Lucid Links. Power, screen session, and your accounts here, such as Facebook, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Time, calendar, the mail, uh, the sound settings, mute, sound preferences, blah, blah, blah. Okay nothing new here and we are connected to the internet go to applications accessories and nothing new there games well games are always going to be games uh, I do enjoy playing gbrainy somewhat shotwell is new Although I still prefer Google Picasa as my number one photo manager. And I really don't see anything special here with Shotwell. Okay, get out of that. Graphics, so we already did that, didn't we? Internet, okay, I don't see anything new here. Office, and of course, open Office. Sound and video, Brazero, movie, PTV editor, rhythm box. Let's see what rhythm box looks like. <clears throat> you know, I'm starting to wonder with these releases every six months. Uh, I don't know. I guess as 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 a Windows user, you know, if I th I think it's cool to have a new OS come out because it is something new, but every 6 months unless it's something that really sticks out or is a major major improvement over the previous version, I'm not sure if having these releases every 6 months is such a good idea. Um it seems to me that Ubuntu or, or Canonical that runs this may be a victim of its own hype but anyway that may be a a topic for another screencast okay well it says here install mp3 public mp3 plugins easy enough so nothing's changed here from the previous version I see the buttons are still on the left um, I'm right-handed so for me the buttons should be on on the right I suppose if you're left-handed left is cool for the buttons but nothing major major just a small little gripe but again that's not a deal breaker for me so where were we the Ubuntu Software Center uh, this particular piece of software is has has always been one of my favorites uh, whether I'm using it in a Ubuntu or uh, Zorin or OS3 or Loose or um, Linux Mint that is uh, the Ubuntu Software Center is a very very nice touch easy to use uh, looks like the looks of this has changed from the previous version easy to read so yeah I would probably call this a plus so let's get out of that Okay, where were we? 
<clears throat> let's go to uh, places home folder desktop documents music everything again nothing's really changed there go to system preferences about me appearance broadcast accounts Bluetooth up here okay nothing here really sticks out from the previous version let's see administration um, by the way computer computer janitor should be eliminated completely I can't believe they still have that in there uh, you may wind up if you use this software computer janitor you may wind up deleting something that you really did not want to and that's all I'm going to say on that topic okay Firefox here on the top the shortcut Let's right click. Uh, if you wanted to janitize your desktop, is, is, is that a word? Janitize? Computer janitor? I don't know. If you wanted to janitize your software, I recommend trying Bleach Bit. It seems to work for me. I, I guess that would be similar to uh, Windows um, CCleaner. So try bleach bit instead of computer janitor. <clears throat> okay, these are some looks like some new backgrounds here. Uh, nothing here to me really sticks out. I mean they're all nice enough. This blue one here at the top right kind of reminds me of Windows, but that's okay. Let me kick close. Um, didn't I see or read something where this was supposed to have the volume control was supposed to have shortcuts for uh, Rhythm Box? Oh, it does. There it is. Okay. Click Rhythm Box there. Okay. Well, any anyway. Um, as far as this being uh, a major upgrade from the previous version, so far what I've seen, I just don't see it. Uh, Lucid Links for me was somewhat of a disappointment. Uh, those of you who follow my uh, channel, you know I've had issues with uh, HD videos and screencasting and transcoding. That's why I'm actually doing this in Windows XP. Um, from what I understand also the next version uh, of Ubuntu which will be I guess six months from now ah, here are the rhythm box control buttons this I would say is a nice touch play rewind forward so that's okay there okay well what can I say about Ubuntu 10.10 .10? uh, as far as this being a perfect desktop or the perfect version of Linux or Ubuntu that remains to be seen um, right now I'm not seeing it I just don't see any major upgrades from the previous version I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm just not seeing that wow factor you know or that you know when you first try something new you wasn't not expecting and you go wow cool look at that with this version of Ubuntu I'm just not seeing it now again maybe I'm seeing this too much through the eyes of a Windows user but I don't know I mean it, it, it looks fine enough you know it looks cool enough I guess as it is as far as the wallpaper you can always change it you know, um, I'm sure if this is probably just as easy to use as the previous version, and if you are a Windows user trying out Ubuntu, really any version of Ubuntu, you really can't go wrong. Although for me, Lucid Links, you know, was somewhat of a disappointment. Uh, I'm actually using Karmic in one of my laptops, and it runs terrific in my multimedia laptop I'm using Zorin 
OS3 multimedia, which is actually the Lucid Links version based on the Lucid Links version of Ubuntu. It seems to run okay, but for me, uh, the previous version, which is Karmic, Karmic Koala, seems to run a little bit faster, at least with me running primarily uh, single core machines. Okay, well, what else can I say about 10.10? Um, nothing major, nothing fantastic. Uh, this is one of those uh, versions of Ubuntu where you can take it or leave it. Um, I may wind up, I haven't decided yet, decided I may wind up doing a full install in one of my machines and not just doing it in a virtual box because really I suppose in the end uh, testing any OS uh, I guess the best way of testing it is actually to do a full install on a clean um, hard drive okay well that pretty much concludes my review of Ubuntu 10.10 .10. if you are interested or are curious uh, go ahead and give it a shot uh, you may see or find things or notice things I haven't noticed yet, but for right now, I am sticking with the Karmic Koala uh, version of Ubuntu as my primary Linux distribution. And by the way, that also includes the Linux Mint version of it, which I believe is Linux Mint 8. Uh, the Linux Mint version of this, I believe, is scheduled to be released in November. Well, that's it. That concludes my screencast, my review of Ubuntu 10.10. Uh, try it out. Let me, let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you think it's any better than uh, Lucid Links. Try some video transcoding in this and let me know how long it takes. Uh, Lucid Links is God, it was absolutely horrible. All right, guys, as always, uh, thanks for watching uh, and thank you. Um, just as a side note, uh, doing these videos as as professional as I can and as, you know, as informative as humanly possible really does take a lot of time and uh, you know just about a month ago I was I was thinking about doing less videos or just dropping the channel altogether but I'm not sure what happened I've, I've jumped from 40 subscribers to almost 200 in about a month's time and uh, I mean I realized that may not seem like a lot considering how many you know people are on YouTube but anyway it means a lot to me so Thank you. It gives me an incentive to keep going to do these 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 videos as much as I can. But all right, I'll just leave it at that note. Thank you, and uh, as always, thank you for watching Total OS today. And please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you very much.